So what would you say to a guy that's struggling with uh, understanding how much God loves him and then therefore he's struggling with loving himself? What's a good yeah. first step for a guy like that? Go back here. Here are the, here are the things you got to remember right here. And, and if they're listening right down, I hope they can stop this and write these down, but this is it. Now, you get these five things down, repeat them every day, memorize them, and you won't believe what will happen in your life. Number one, you got to remember that God made you. God doesn't make junk. He put, his, he put his blessing on you. God made you. Number two, you understand that God loves you, and he'll never love you any more nor any less than he loves you right now. Number three, you got to remember that Jesus Christ died for you. Why in the world would he have wasted his son on you if you didn't matter? Number four, you got to remember that he has gifted you. So you need to discover, develop, and use the gifts that he's given you for his purposes. And finally, you need to remember and understand that God has a plan for your life. So to begin to seek out that plan over the years and discover what it is and to begin to live it out, that's all part of understanding your value and your worth. I grew up, Blake, without a dad in my, in my life. And a lot of times people say your concept of God will be impacted by the relationship you had with your father. I didn't have a daddy. My dad left our home when I was two years old and never met him. Stepdad came in my life. And he spent absolutely no time with me. But God brought great people in my life. He brought me to himself in the 10th grade, as I mentioned. And over the years, he's helped me over and over and over again to help me understand my value and my worth to him. And to me, that's the game plan. You know, we, we've interviewed several guys who didn't have a, a great father. And I think um, it's pretty amazing that you have overcame that and you haven't allowed that to be an excuse in your life. Well, it's worked out to be a, 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 an asset because what it's helped me to do is it's given me a sensitivity to men and especially men uh, who didn't have a father or men who are seeking to be good dads. So it's, it really is ironic. My wife often says, isn't that ironic that you didn't have a dad, but now for the last 40 some years, all you've done is work with men and dads. Pretty cool. You know, yeah. 